Dakota, you come out here and uh, it looked like that first half, you guys were in it, right? You guys were down 10 nothing. have some chances to kind of get in the game. I know there's a couple of missed field goals, but ultimately you guys get the ball inside the 30, uh, BSU's 30, uh, towards the end of the half, uh, and you guys aren't able to kind of punch it in for some points. What can you tell me maybe is like, is there something missing out there? Is there something that you can say like just isn't working and like maybe you guys need something, some sort of spark out there? No, I wouldn't say it's not this or that. It's not working. You know, we just got to finish plays. And when we get down, drive that field and get down to, like you said, getting close to the goal line, we, we have to execute. And, uh, you know, you guys do get that first touchdown. Speaking of Elijah Owens, you know, he finds you there. He gets some good deep balls to you and Harry a couple times in this game. What can you tell me about kind of his performance, true freshman coming out here? Uh, and I know it's, uh, you know, a time right now where you guys are going to learn and kind of grow as a team right now. No, he's a great kid. He's a He's a playmaker. He comes to work every day, wanting to learn, wanting to get better, and he's going. He's going to continue to get better. And then uh, the defense, uh, you got to feel for them, right? I mean, I know they're everyone out here is working hard, but you can particularly see them getting uh, in on a lot of action, having to like do a lot right now. What can you tell me about, you know, Garrett, for instance? You know, uh, Garrett Owen Dyke, he's making a lot of plays. Um, we talked about Maddox Blackwell a little bit in the past couple weeks, but you know, what can you say about just the defense and, and Garrett specifically? No, oh, like I said about Maddox last week, he, they're all playmakers, and you know they continue to make plays. And we, as an offense, we have to make plays and have have their back, just like they have our back. What can you say about uh, just kind of the work that's going to go in to just keep grinding, keep pushing, keep finding uh, an answer, finding some sort of semblance of just like normalcy, and trying to get get that win and, and get more points on the board? Yeah, uh, you know, we just come back to work every day. It's like I said last week, you know. We, we don't, you don't want to put your head down and feel sorry for yourself. That, you know, that's what losers do. We're not a loser. So we got to get back, believe in ourselves, and continue to work. Did it feel like the end of the, the game just kind of got away? I know it was only 17-7 there in this third quarter. And then there's you know, some turnovers, and it, it, you know, the, that final score is going to be bigger than it, what the game actually was. But does it feel like it got away a little bit? And what, what did you see from that, that juncture? I mean, obviously, the turnovers are, are unfortunate, and we can't have those. But like I said, we have to finish on both sides of the ball and just continue to execute and get better. Well, we, we ran a lot of in-breaking routes like that, and I knew he was going to break on it because he's used to me breaking in. So I knew it was going to be open, and you know I trusted Elijah, and he threw it with confidence, and we scored a touchdown. You know, What we have to do is just continue to push the defense on the field, and it opens up the run game, opens up the shorter pass game, and you know, we just got to continue to have confidence in our guys. Talking about a true freshman playing quarterback out there, any conversation that you might have had with him pregame, just to remind him to stay in the moment, so don't let it get too big for you. Uh, what was the conversation there? Oh, just be confident. You know, I don't look at it as a freshman. Look at it. You're, you're the starting quarterback. It's, it's your time. Just, you know, the first day, I told him after the first drive, I said, hey, you got those first first drive jitters out of the way. Let's roll. It's time to go. Now, did you keep that touchdown ball? Did you get back to him afterwards? Well, what was his first one? So. Nah, I was just getting back to the ref. Yeah. <laughs> Gary Hunter took Gold Tribune star. Um, you guys come out, your defensive unit, got to work, got to grind, right? You guys started the year 0 2. Um, that, that second quarter, particularly, you guys are still only down 10-0. Mm -hmm. uh, you force a fumble there with about seven minutes left. They get the, you guys get the ball inside the 30, ball saves 30. Um, but aren't they able to capitalize? Is it, is it kind of like, a, in your opinion, like, are you seeing it just being like, that's a missed opportunity where you guys could have potentially got, you know, a field goal or points, a touchdown? Like, what can you tell me about just kind of keep grinding, but ultimately need to cash in on those opportunities? Mm -hmm. We just got to keep working hard. Eventually, something's going to pay off. Eventually, we're going to score points. Something's going to capitalize on an opportunity, whether the defense comes up with a big play or the offense makes a big play and we score. Regardless, we just got to keep our heads down and keep playing. In that first half, like I said, it was so close. Can, can you kind of pinpoint, you know, there was a couple of times where you forced some third and longs and got them off the field. I think it was like a couple of times to start the, uh, the first couple of drives. Um, and then, uh, you know, what can you just say about your, your defensive unit as you guys were, were kind of keeping the ISU in the game mm -hmm. and, and playing well? Early in the game, we did a really good job of executing what we needed to do, get them behind the sticks, make them throw the ball downfield on third down. Later in the game, we just made some errors, including myself, and we just got to clean some of that stuff up. What can you tell me about, uh, you know, maybe I feel like you guys are playing a lot. The defense is on the field a lot. Like, what can you tell me about just keeping the, the endurance going, keeping kind of the, the right psyche, like, 
you know, you're going to grind, you're going you're gonna to find a way to keep, uh, you know, just battling out there. Mm -hmm. You just got to keep going. There's not really a whole lot you can do. Just keep yourself in good shape. If you have to extra run after practice, keep that endurance high. That's about all you can do. What can you tell me about uh, just Maddox? I know he's had a great, great first couple of weeks, another, another shot a week from him. It seems like both of you are kind of uh, two guys that are always kind of getting a nose for the ball and, and making an impact and, you know, competing out there. Maddox is a great player, works really hard, does everything right. Always finds himself around the ball, which is awesome to see. And yeah, it's, he's a great player. It's got to feel good to see the offense uh, get behind the defense a couple times, and then ultimately get that first touchdown. Uh, what can you comment on just you know getting that first score and knowing that like you know that that potential's there, whether uh, it's Dakota getting behind the defense or Harry and that Elijah Owens can find him. Yeah, the offense will be fine. They'll keep working hard and they'll get stuff figured out eventually. Any any words to the true freshman uh, uh, Elijah Owens coming out here and getting his first start and, and on the road and everything? You know, Team, all that. yeah, team's got his back. That's about all I have to say. We got he's a great player and we got his back.